ready 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 good morning to the respected lecturer and my fellow friend today we are going to do a video presentation before starting let me introduce myself hi i am christine these are my teammates ty lukeman imar anna and ifa we will present about power supply unit okay let us start with the history of the power supply unit. The ancestor of computer power supply is actually a step-down transformer. Its main function is to change alternating current to direct current. Let us see what is the difference between alternating current AC and direct current DC. Alternating current cycles back and forth. It is an efficient method for transmission of electricity. It is measured in cycles per second, or known as hertz. For example, the wall socket in our house supply alternating current. Direct current travels in one direction only. However, DC is required by most electronic devices, includes computer. For instance, the electricity provided by batteries is in DC. The power supply unit is connected to the wall plug by using a standard 3-pin plug top. There are ground pin, hot pin, and neutral pin on the plug. The alternating current flows into the power supply unit when the plug is switched on. There are some core components in it, for example, resistor that limits the amount of currents that can flow through it, rectifier that converts alternating current to direct current, transformer that changes the ratio of current to voltage, transistor that amplify flow of electricity and capacitor that hold electrical charges and smooth the uneven flow of electricity the second function of power supply unit is regulates and lowers the supplying voltage a transformer keeps power constant but changes the ratio of current to voltage for example the input voltage is 1000 volt while the output voltage is 200 volt next we will give a brief description of how computer power supply is developed. The first standardization of desktop power supplies started with the IBM personal computer in 1981. Its power supply design was copied by other manufacturers for what became known as IBM compatibles. IBM changed the size with the IBM personal computer or known as AT, which later included smaller models known as the baby AT form factor. The basic design of the power supply remained unchanged until 1995 when Intel released the ATX computer form factor. We will share with you more about the form factor in the next section. As we mentioned before, the power supply unit acts as a step-down transformer. It converts alternating current to direct current with different voltages to suit the needs of different components in the computer. Positive 12 volts primarily used for disk drive motors, cooling fans. Negative 12 volts is used for serial ports and SIM circuits because its current output is limited to 1 ampere. Positive 5 volts is used on older motherboards, processor and memory. It is also passed to expansion slots. 3.3 volts is widely used on new motherboards, processor and memory. It supplies power to the AGP video cards too. As time passes by, the size of step-down transformer shrink and modified to suit for a computer. Power supply unit is known as PSU, power supply, and power unit. It is commonly located at top left in the tower casing. However, some gaming tower tend to place it at bottom left too. The rear part of the power supply unit consists of a fan, on-off switch, and AC plug. Some of the power supply unit come with switchable input voltage of 110 volt AC and 240 volt AC. This is useful when the PSU is distributed all across the world with different voltage supply. This is an ATX motherboard P1 power connector. It supplies power to the whole motherboard. Old motherboards often uses 20 pin power connectors while new motherboards uses 20 plus 4 pin power connectors the additional 4 pin connector can be detached from the power connector in addition this power connectors is held in place by a latch so that it will not easily loose out in some new motherboards a 2 times 2 power connectors is required to supply additional power to the processor 
It supplies positive 12 volts. This is Molex connectors. It is consist of male and female connectors. It is the most commonly used power connectors that supplies both 12 volt and 5 volt power. Normally, it is used to power up hard disk drives and CD-ROM drives. This is a mini connector which consists of four pins and four wires. It is the standard connector for 3.5 inch floppy disk drive. This is a SATA connector, it is widely used to power up hard disk drives and DVD-ROM drives in modern computers. This is a PCIe 6-pin connector, it is widely used to power up graphic cards. Some high-end graphic cards need enhanced version which is 6 plus 2-pin PCIe power connectors in order to operate. There are several power saving modes that can be applied when the computer is idle. The blank screen saver turn off the display monitor and enable quick resume of work. Put the computer on sleep saves more power, but take a longer time to wake it up. Hibernating, or known as hybrid sleep saves all the data into RAM and minimize the usage of processor and hard disk drives. It saves the most power but it takes quite a long time to resume working. Some laptops with strong battery can hold up to one weeks in hibernating mode. Failure of power supply can be easily detected when the fans doesn't turn and no voltage is present. When this condition occurs, you need to replace it with a new one. First, long press the on-off switch approximately 5 seconds located in front of the tower casing. Next. Hold firm on the AG power plug and disconnect it. Wait for a few seconds to let the power supply discharge completely. Then, unscrew the power supply by using screwdriver. As for the internal part, slowly and carefully remove the power connectors from the motherboard and peripherals. Do remember the position of the power connectors as you need to connect them later. When all the cables are unplugged, unlock and push the power supply unit firmly to remove it. You can install a new power supply by reversing the steps just now. The power supply unit must be tightly screwed to prevent it loosen when operating. After installing a new power supply, you can test it by turning on the power. In order to prolong the lifespan of power supply unit, maintenance from time to time must be done. First, cooling is very important to power supply unit as it generates a lot of heat when operating. The fan keeps the voltage regulators cool and provides a constant flow of cool air through the computer. Many fans nowadays have sensors to detect when they should run faster, beside fans. The airflow of casing is important too. The airflow in the casing must be smooth else the CPU can overheat and destroy itself. There are several ways to protect computer from being struck by surge or sudden blackout. The surge suppressors provide protection against power surges. It is inserted between the power supply and the outlet. Some of them even provide protection for cable connections such as modems and DSL. Power conditioners provide protection against spikes. It also regulate or condition power. It provide continuous voltage during brownouts. Another way is through uninterruptible power supply, or known as UPS. UPS contains a battery that provides continuous AC power to the computer. It provides surge protection and power conditioning as well. Some of them is controlled by software through USB or parallel port connection to PC. It can send shutdown alarms during blackout and remote startup of system through phone lines. We named him the Smart UPS. As UPS is not an essential part of computer, we must consider the following when buying a UPS. A good UPS usually come with large amount of battery backup, good after sales service, long warranty period and an affordable price tag. Next, we will share with you about the revolution of power supply unit. Form factor is an industry term for the size, shape, type an external connector, there are approximately 8 industry standard form factors for power supplies, this form factor is called PC or XT, it is first used in IBM desktop back in 1983. 
It is also called as extended technology. This PSU is placed into the rear of the case at right hand side and controlled by an toggle switch. This is a T form factor, or known as advanced technology. It is introduced by IBM in 1984. This model increased in size and provide up to 192 watts of power. This is a baby AT form factor. It is a smaller version of the original AT form. It has the same height and length, but is about 2 inch less in width. It has the same motherboard connectors and drive connectors as the AT. The interesting part is, the baby AT. Power supply was made in both a tower and desktop configuration. This made it became the most popular design over a decade. The LP and LPX stands for low profile. They are also often called slimline power supplies because LPX cases are often called slimline cases. The size is reduced facilitating the design of much smaller and consumer orientated PC. However, the connectors of the LPX form factor power supply are the same as that of any AT families. Next, the ATX or NLX form factor power supply is introduced by Intel in 1995. The advanced technology extended ATX form factor was the most significant change in system design. It is now the standard in marketplace, the NLX. Motherboard in case form factor is designed to replace LPX. The ATX power supply appears virtually identical to an LPX power supply in terms of its dimensions and component placement. In 1997, Intel introduced the new micro ATX form factor based upon the original ATX form factor. In 1999, Intel produced the Flex ATX addition to the micro ATX specification detailing plans for an even smaller motherboard in case standard. Later, Intel created the SFX power supply form factor, which stands for small. The specified output rating of this SFX power supply is 90 watt and sufficient to run low-powered CPU only. The WTX was introduced by Intel in 1998. It is designed specifically for workstations. WTX defines a standard for motherboards, cases, and power supplies. It is designed in a modular way from ground up to allow it to meet the need of large, multiple CPU systems now and in the future. Power supply unit has many power connectors to power up the motherboard, hard drives, CD-ROM and so on. The main voltage in our country is 240 volt AC however, components in PC require stable DC voltage supply. There are several important points to bear in mind when choosing a power supply unit for your computer. First, the form factor. You need to choose a power supply form factor that compatible with your motherboard and tower casing, the type and number of power cables, and connectors on the PSU is important to determine the maximum devices that it can power up. The voltage selector switch enables switching input between 110 volt AC and 240 volt AC. Choosing a power supply with big and fast spinning fans enable better cooling and longer lifespan. The on-off switch is convenient in turning off computer and prevent electrical shock. You need to choose the wattage ratings carefully that suits your need. A lower wattage cannot support all of your components. A higher wattage will draw a lot of electricity thus causing high electricity bill. Bear in mind that video cards draw the most power. You need to use a power supply rated 30% higher than expected. You can calculate the power needed by using a wattage calculator. Finally, a branded quality power supply with good after-sales service and warranty is always safer and better. There are few versions of power supply, the ATX. 12 volt 1.3 is first widespread update to ATX PS the EPS 12 volt is introduced for server motherboards the ATX 12 volt 2.0 overcame the problem of overloading the 12 volt rail it provides multiple 12 volt rails as for general recommendation get a power supply unit that is at least 500 watt it is enough extra for starting and future growth
We will discuss about brand and manufacturers in the next section. Corsair Components, Inc. is an American computer peripherals and hardware company headquartered in California. Corsair designs and sells a range of products for computers, including high-speed DRAM modules, ATX power supplies, USB flash drives, memory and case cooling solutions, gaming peripherals, computer cases, solid-state drives, and speakers. Thermaltake Technology Co. Limited is a manufacturer of PC cases, designs, power supplies and cooling solutions. Its main headquarters is located in Taipei, Taiwan. It has multiple manufacturing facilities in mainland China, including a major plant at Dongguan. Most of Thermaltake's production, consisting of aftermarket personal computer parts, is typically bought by teenagers blinded by the flashy packaging and not doing any research beforehand. Deep Cool is a manufacturer and provider of thermal products for desktops, laptops and servers. It was founded in Beijing in 1996. Its factory is now located in Shenzhen. Deep Cool's factory employs around 700 people and has a construction area of 20,000 square meters. It is recognized by ISO 9001 to 2000 and ISO 14001. The company name was inspired by the IBM supercomputer Deep Blue. Seasonic Electronics Co. Limited is a power supply and computer PSU manufacturer and retailer. Formerly limited to trading as hardware OEM for other companies, they first made power supplies in 1980s for the Apple II and the IBM PC. All of the PSUs are certified 80 plus. In 2002, Seasonic established a wholly owned subsidiary in California, USA to sell products in the U.S. retail market and to provide technical support. Zalman Tech Co. is a South Korean company that develops and provides aftermarket desktop computer products with primary focus on cooling enhancement. Zalman has done considerable products development since its 1999 founding, and now holds several patents focusing on both cooling and fan noise reduction. Zalman's product range includes specialized heat sink and fan solutions for CPUs, as well as quiet power supplies, computer water cooling systems, motherboard chipset coolers graphics card heat sink and fan combos, laptop coolers, cases, and hard disk cases that lower temperature and reduce noise. Cooler Master Co. Limited is a company that is well known for producing enthusiast computer cases and has been in business for almost 25 years. Cooler Master's entry into the power supply market has been rather mixed with some good products, and some that could use improvement. Today, we will look deeper into Cooler Master of its product lines and various series available. The V-Series of 80 Plus Platinum Power Supplies is built using the highest grade components available including 100% high quality Japanese capacitors to ensure excellent efficiency, hold up times voltage stability, and ripple suppression. The V-Series uses a fully modular cable system with extra slim flat ribbon cables to improve cable management and allow for clean and elegant looking builds. The GM series is semi-modular to reduce the number of unnecessary cables for better cable management. The single plus 12V rail on all GM series power supplies allows for superior load balancing and GPU compatibility. Its unique 3D circuit design offers high efficiency and improves the heat dissipation. It reduces the unnecessary cables which results in much lower crosstalk, signal noise and improves airflow. The refreshing new design of the GX series is an outstanding choice for basic system builds. Offering gamers and mainstream users high-end features without hitting your wallet. 80 Plus Bronze Certified in a custom DC-DC module design that has higher efficiency and voltage stability from its predecessor, the GX series is the best choice to bring your game to the next level. 
E-Series power supplies are ideal for mainstream and basic computing systems. They are built with quality components and have dual positive 12 volt outputs to provide stale, clean power. A completely new circuit layout and new components make it compliant to the regulations. The biggest difference for the new B-Series is that it now only has a single rail positive 12 volts DC out with a max current of 54 ampere. The Thunder power supply line is ideal for mainstream computing systems. It is built with quality components and has dual positive 12 volt output to handle the demands of high power requirements. It is equipped with double-layer AMI filter which provide dual protection from electromagnetic interference, thus restraining noise and interference for greater protection for you and your connections. Elite power supplies are built using quality components and a dual-positive 12-volt output. They are both reliable and affordable, making them ideal for mainstream and basic computing systems. It is equipped with 20mm quiet fan with intelligent fan speed controller It can compliance with Intel ATX 12V version 2.32. It provide one 4 plus 4 pin positive 12V CPU connector for high-end CPU support It is coated with fully protection design which is OVP, UVP, OPP, OCP and SCP OK. I think that's all from us. We sincerely appreciate your precious time in supporting us. We wish you a good day and learn something useful from video just now.